In this tutorial, we'll cover how to use projects in Burp Suite and various functions that are useful when you're dealing with project files. Burp projects let you organize your work on a specific test. When you launch Burp, it shows this wizard on startup. And here you can choose what kind of project to open. You can open a temporary project. This is ideal for quick tasks, all the data is held in memory, nothing is saved by default, and your work will be lost when Burp exits. You can choose to create a new project on disk. This means that all your data is saved in a project file. It's saved incrementally in real time as you work. And also your memory usage when you're using Burp will be lower because a lot of data is pushed onto the disk. Finally, if you created a project on disk previously, you can open it. So let's create a new project and give it a name. We need to select where we're going to save the project. And when we do that, if we want, Burp will just give us a default file name to save it to. If we click Next, this is where we choose the configuration options to use for the project. We'll explain these in a different tutorial. So click Start Burp, and Burp opens with the project we created. At this point, as normal, we would do some work and create some data. So I'm just going to create a quick new scan. And I'm going to do just a bit of lightweight browsing using Burp's browser. So now we can see we've got some data in the proxy history and we have a scan running on the dashboard. So at this point, I'm just going to close Burp. If we launch Burp again, we have the same startup wizard, and now we can see that the project that I previously created is listed here for us to select. So I'm going to select to open that project. One thing worth noting is that automated tasks are paused by default when you open an existing project. So this will affect live tasks, scans, and anything else that's running in the task list in the dashboard. I'm going to select the option to use the options that were saved with the project. All project options are automatically saved within the project file, so anything we've customized as we were working will be preserved when we reopen the project. So click Start Burp, and the project I selected will open. The project opens pretty much instantly, the same time it took to create a new project. If you did have a huge amount of work saved in your project file, it might take a little bit longer to open. So here we can see task execution is paused, because that's the default behavior. We can see the scan that I created is sitting there where it left off. We can see the data that we accumulated in the proxy history is still there, and other data that we accumulated as we were working is still there. At this point, I can now resume task execution, and that means the scan that was in progress will resume as before. It's worth mentioning that if you reopen a project file where you previously did some vulnerability scanning, when you reopen the file, Burp will resume collaborator polling and will sometimes report some vulnerabilities retrospectively, which were triggered after the end of your previous scanning. There are some other functions which are useful when you're working with project files. If you create a temporary project, you can save a copy of it from the project menu. And you can do the same thing if you've made an on-disk project and you want a second copy of the project file. In both cases, you can choose which Burp tools to include data from and whether to only include in-scope items. This can be really useful to reduce the size of a large project file. You can also import a project file. This is really useful if you want to merge your work together from something you produced on another occasion. And also Burp creates backup copies of your project files automatically by default. You can configure this if you go to user options, misc, automatic project backup. Here you can configure how frequently the backup files are created and some other options. So that's how to use Burp Suite projects and various functions that are useful when working with project files.